Setting up Lion Server's Software Update Server. The first step in using the Software Update Service in Lion Server is to make sure that you can see it in Server Admin. The Server Admin tools are available as a separate download from OS X Server at Apple.com. When you open Server Admin, click on Settings when the server is highlighted and then check the box for the Software Update Service. When you hit Save, the settings will change and the Software Update Service will appear in the Server Admin sidebar. Once you can see the service, click on Software Update and then click on Settings. From the Settings pane, you can limit the user bandwidth. This will throttle each connection to a specific speed. You can also choose to store the updates in a separate location, for example, on a Promise Array. You can also choose to use a separate port other than the, the default 8088. You can also choose to copy all updates from Apple or just the new updates from Apple. You can also choose to automatically enable the updates that are copied. By default, updates are not enabled, so I strongly recommend checking this if you're just trying to replicate the Apple software update service. You can also choose to delete outdated updates by using this checkbox. From the updates pane, you can check the box for each update that you'd like to enable. In the beginning, the updates are all grayed out because they haven't been cached from Apple.com. So normally I suggest starting the service and then giving them a night to update. Click on Overview and then you can click Start Software Update to begin the caching. Once all the updates have cached to the local system, go ahead and open up Workgroup Manager, also available in the Server Admin Tools, and click on Groups and then click on a group of either users or computers that you would like to send these managed preferences for. The Manage Preferences define the software update server that each computer or user is going to use. In this case, we're going to use a group called 318 Users, and then we're going to click Preferences in the Workgroup Manager toolbar. From here, click Software Update, and then click Always in order to manage the setting, and then you can click on the Software Update Server to Use field and provide a name for the server that you're going to be using. In this case, we're going to use HTTP colon slash slash mdm dot cryptid dot com colon 8088 slash index dot su catalog and then once you're ready hit apply now now any users who log in through open directory using that group <coughs> using an account that's in that group will get these settings and they'll use this software update server and that's it it's pretty straightforward videos by 318